Joining me in the studio to discuss these elections is public and policy analyst Alistair Wilkos. Many thanks to you for joining us on this hour. Thank you. Now, it's my pleasure to be here. When you look, I mean, um, the APC candidates have been declared both in Bayelsa and Kogi State as the winner of this election. First of all, what, what's your reaction to the, that declaration by INEC? Well, um, INEC can only declare based on the collation that they've done. Um, from each of the awards, bullying you know, on that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a whole process. So for INEC to declare somebody winner, that means the person will have satisfied the guidelines as required, scoring at least uh, the total lawful vote cast mm. and scoring 25% of the votes in uh, at least two thirds of local government. So to that extent, well, uh, we can give it to INEC that uh, they have done the right thing. But again, as humans, we will begin to wonder how results like that emerge. I mean, everybody, sh I'm not too surprised about Kogi. I neglect the APC candidate as well because Kogi, it's, uh, the APC is uh, the incumbent. But in Bayelsa, a lot of things, I mean, one is surprised as to how APC will upstage uh, PDP in Bayelsa. But when you look at the nitty gritty of what has happened, you cannot but uh, give it to the people of Bayelsa and the people of Kogi for having made the choice that they choose to make. All right, in, tw in 2015, um, that was the first election conducted by uh, Mahmoud Yakubu when he came into office. Yeah. These two states were um, declared, uh, the elections in those states were declared um, inconclusive because of violence. And yes. then we also had reports of violence in this state. So when you look at 2015 and 2019, how would you say INEC has fared four years after? Most often than not, we seem to blame INEC for what INEC has no control over. The issue of violence, INEC has no control over violence. Sometimes when INEC conducts an election, people just come up and say, INEC has conducted a terrible election or what. I mean, we should be able to point out where INEC went wrong. INEC has a process of, the process starts from when they issue their guidelines, receive nominations and do all that, and then deploy people to the field. Now, INEC has no control over what politicians will do on the field as to creating violence. And the only thing INEC can do at that point is there is violence. It's either to cancel from those polling units or those environments and not receive the results. But if you compare 2015 and 2019 in mm. terms of conduct, now what created those inconclusiveness? And that's one thing we must understand. And which time, and I think the press owe the people a duty to educate them. What brings them inconclusive is if a candidate does not meet the threshold. INEC has a guideline. If a candidate does not meet the threshold to be declared winner, then there is inconclusive for a rerun or a supplementary election. Now, what happened in 2015 in, uh, in Bayelsa, I remember very vividly, there was a bogus result that came from Southern Nigeria local governments for which INEC rejected based on, I mean, what they call violence and all whatnot. A very bogus result came from Southern Nigeria right, that I, will have upstaged I, 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 the Sorry, I'll allow me to in here because I really want to stay on the issue of the violence. Yes. Um, who, who would you say is responsible? Is it the electorate that haven't developed? Or is it security agencies? Or is it the politicians themselves who you know, haven't, haven't developed along the lines of what democracy really is about? Basically, the politicians. The, we are in a country where political power is gained at this level, mainly at this level, at the governorship level, is gained through the most times by, by brute force. Because they have not been able to, so I will take the politicians first, then the electorate, because the electorate are the ones that are being used by the politicians. Mm. Now, the politicians are the ones that create the, um, the, the, the for, I mean, for, 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 I mean, for violence. And again, the security agencies are not able to rise up to the antics of the politicians. Again, look at it this way. It's still like Kogi. The landmass alone, how, can you, how will you place security men across the entire state? And you're having it in two states, moreover, at this, at this level. So the politicians are bent on every time on both sides, on both sides now of the divide, on both sides of the divide, they are bent on as much violence as you can unleash to get through. And then the, 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 the electorates allow themselves to be used by the politicians to perpetrate this violence. And then the security agencies doing their best, I, will, I, I mean, I will not come here to condemn them, doing their utmost best, but sometimes compromised, sometimes not able to uh, 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 catch up with the antics of the politicians. And so you create that environment. And so INEC, this is purely be, be within the, I mean, right. behind the ambit of INEC, mm -hmm. sincerely. And we well, must give it to INEC at this uh, level. Listen, not to get ahead of ourselves, but, you know, I, I, um, somebody tweeted over the weekend, that, look, if I can make a transfer from my home um, to someone's account, um, if I can do a bit, some transactions or even register for a cause, a, a cause in my from my home, you know, on my system, on my phone, 
why can't I vote from my home? And he was speaking um, based on the fact that, look, this will minimize violence if people can just vote, vote from their home. Do you think that that's one way, one thing to add that INEC should begin to look Easier at? Easier said than done. There is no system that cannot be corrupted. I mean, easier said than done. As we speak today, even in the most advanced democracies, still use the ballot. The British are going to the election in the next few weeks. Go and find it. They still use the ballot. Yes, you can register from your home. You can do absent. You can do mail ballots. Okay? There are mm. various options open. But they still have the physical ballot. If you go to the uh. U.S., the same thing. And they still count these ballots physically. Mm. In, our own, in our own claim, really and truly, we need to be working hard. But no matter what you bring in, so long as the politicians okay, anything, and the political system, system is still very, very right, I'm, I'm afraid. volatile, I think uh, mm -hmm. but we'll keep trying up the options and see All what right, we can do. We do have to be the public, uh, public uh, policy analyst, Alistair Wilcox. Many thanks for joining us. It's always us my pleasure. Hour. Thank you very much.